The Mark of the Beast. It's not what you think. The Mark of the Beast. What images does that bring to your mind? A tattoo? A barcode? A national ID card? A microchip? Maybe you picture some crazy conspiracy theorist on a YouTube video. Whatever you think of when you hear the words, most people have a morbid curiosity about the subject. They feel a mix of fascination and fear since very little is really known, although much is speculated, about what the mark of the beast actually is. And let's face it, they have grounds for feeling afraid because the consequences of receiving the mark of the beast are both dire and eternal. New research has revealed that the mark of the beast is much more than Christians have previously realized. It's larger, more encompassing, more complex, and yet much more deceptive because it is far more. It's about worship. Scripture reveals that the mark of the beast is tied closely to worship. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Revelation chapter 13, verses 15 to 17, King James Version. The mark of the beast is not as simple as some RFID chip, barcode, or tattoo. It's not any form of advanced technology. The mark of the beast is imposed over the enforcement of false worship. In the past, many Saturday Sabbatarians have believed the mark of the beast would be the enforcement of worship on Sunday. Some Roman Catholics have believed that the mark of the beast will be received when Jews, who are very influential in politics, education and international finance, enforce worship on Saturday different calendars. All past suppositions about the mark of the beast have been too limited in scope. The true mark of the beast is far larger than ever before understood. Neither Saturday nor Sunday have anything to do with the final test facing believers, other than the fact that both days of worship are wrong. Sound surprising? It's true. Scripture, archaeology, and astronomy all reveal the biblical calendar was very different from the modern Gregorian calendar devised by a Jesuit astronomer. The papal calendar is solar and has a continuous weekly cycle. By contrast, the biblical calendar was lunisolar. Months began with the new moon and the weekly cycle restarted each new month. This is very significant because it means that Saturday is not the original seventh-day Sabbath of Scripture, and Sunday is not the true day of the Saviour's resurrection, which is the stated reason for worshipping on Sunday in the first place. The Coming Crisis This may be the first time you have ever encountered this idea, but please take the time to study it out for yourself. We are not asking you to take our word for it. Revelation 8 and 9 reveal that in the very near future, a series of events will occur that will fission history, severing the past from an increasingly violent and chaotic future. During this time, the Pope will be elevated to a position of global dominance. He will be mankind's representative to negotiate peace when Satan uses his demons to make it appear aliens have invaded the world. It will be deemed expedient to unite the world on a single day of worship, or at the very least, a single calendar used for worship. There are approximately 40 calendars in use around the world today, most for religious observances. However, in the days ahead, allowances for dissenting minority convictions will not be tolerated when the peace and safety of billions hang in the balance conform or else. The mark of the beast will be imposed when laws are passed enforcing worship by the papal Gregorian calendar. According to prophecy, there will first be economic sanctions imposed as an inducement to conform. When these fail, 
Harsher civil punishments will be inflicted until it will finally be decreed that all who persist in refusing to worship by the false papal calendar should be killed. The mark of the beast has not yet been imposed, but it will be received when a person complies with the law of the state, knowing full well it contradicts the divine law. Revelation reveals that some will receive the mark in their hands, while others will receive it in their foreheads. Receiving the mark in the forehead indicates that a person is truly convicted of the righteousness of what they are doing. Those who receive the mark in their hand comply for no other reason than temporal expediency. In other words, it's too hard to keep the divine law, so they join the rebellion against heaven just to make their lives easier. Start studying. Now, while life on earth is still relatively normal and calm, research these issues for yourself. Do not let anything else stand in the way of learning the truth. Study it as if your very life depended upon it, because your eternal life does. To get through the days ahead, everyone must receive the seal of Yahweh. This is given when a full surrender is made. Then, the Savior's righteousness covers the sinner. Conformity to do His will is simply what the human heart, transformed by grace, wants to do. Worshipping the Creator on His holy Sabbath, calculated by His calendar, will be recognized for the privilege it really is, and then the humble believer receives the seal of Yahweh. There is no time to waste. Juicy gossip, the latest political scandal, is meaningless when your eternal life is at stake. To learn more about the Mark of the Beast and how you can receive the Seal of Yah, visit our website, worldslastchance.com. Hurry, time won't last much longer.